Welcome to a video summary of the JVC DLA X5900. You can read the full in-depth review via the link in the description or by clicking the card at the top right of the video. The X5900 is JVC's latest entry-level DILA projector and it retails for £3,999. The X5900 uses the same chassis as previous generations, so there's a centrally mounted and high quality lens with vents on either side. The chassis is large, well made and comes in a choice of black or white with a matte finish and a silver trim around the lens. There are some indicator lights on the top left hand corner as you face the projector and some basic controls at the rear in case you misplace the remote. Also at the rear is the connector for the power cable and all the connections. There are twin HDMI inputs that accept 4K 60p at 444, high dynamic range, specifically HDR10 and hybrid log gamma, and HDCP 2.2. There's also an Ethernet port, an RS-232 serial connector, and a 12-volt trigger. There's a connector for a 3D emitter, but you'll have to buy that and the glasses separately. The X5900 comes with JVC standard remote control, which is comfortable to hold and sensibly laid out. It includes all the buttons that you'll need to set up and control the projector, as well as a backlight, which is handy for using the remote in the dark. Setting up the JVC is very straightforward, thanks to its motorized lens controls. And it also has a lens memory for those with a scope ratio screen. The menu system is simple but effective, with all the controls sensibly laid out and labeled including all the calibration controls. The out-of-the-box grayscale could have been better. There was a deficit of red, resulting in a slight cyan push to whites, although the gamma was tracking our target of 2.4 very closely. There was a two-point white balance control, which allowed us to increase red, resulting in an excellent level of accuracy, with all the errors now below one. The out-of-the-box color accuracy was disappointing, with oversaturation in most colors, although it wasn't particularly obvious with actual viewing content. Thanks to the colour management system, we were able to improve the accuracy at 25, 50 and 75% saturation points, but there was still oversaturation at 100%. The performance with HDR was reasonable for a projector, with the grayscale tracking quite well, although the X5900 rolled off the PQEOTF fairly quickly. The native colour gamut was very wide at 74% of REC2020 and 100% of DCI-P3 within REC2020 with excellent tracking of the saturation points. The X5900 is a bright projector and is reasonably quiet in operation even when in its high lamp mode. The combination of an accurate grayscale and colour gamut along with some very impressive video processing resulted in natural looking images. The motion handling was good and the picture was very detailed despite not being a native 4K projector. The black levels were also good but not as impressive as some other JVC models although this may be due to the increased brightness. But this did mean the X5900 delivered a decent HDR performance with good peak highlights and accurate colours. Ultimately this is a great projector that offers superb value, plenty of features and an excellent performance. As such, we're happy to award the JVC DLA X5900 an AV Forum's Best Buy badge. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And don't forget, you can find more reviews, news, articles and videos like this at avforums.com, Europe's largest community for TVs, home cinema, movies, games, tech and gadgets. Thanks for watching.